Hello and welcome to this tutorial on setting up AdMob ads for Android Studio. So the first thing we want to do, if we if you haven't done it already, is sign up with AdMob. And that's just simply going to AdMob.com and signing in. Now if you haven't signed in, you'll have to sign up, go through the process. Um, if you'd have to sign up, click this button, just walk through like normal. If you already have one, just sign in. Sign in with my account here. Here's my name. Yay! So once we get here, go ahead, we'll monetize. We'll monetize a new app. I'm going to, since I haven't uploaded it or even created it yet, I'm going to add my map my app manually. Call it add mod test. Yeah, just do that. It's going to be for Android. I'm going to add my app. I want a banner. Um, all this is fine. I'm just going to call it add mob test. Let's save that. And now we want to keep this add unit ID and our add unit name. Probably just copy and paste them into something. You can do it however you like. But since we have it, we can close it out. And now we can start up Android Studio. So we'll do a new project. We can name it whatever. Let's just call it test app. Yeah, blank activity, main activity. We'll keep it pretty much vanilla. So here we are. We have our application loaded up here. In order to add advertisements to our app, first thing we want to do is we want to right click on the name of our project here, go to open module settings, click on our module, click dependencies, click the green plus, library dependency, and click on Google Play services. Click OK, OK. And now we want to go ahead and edit our Android manifest.xml. So in order to do this, we're going to have a couple different things that we're going to have to add in here. One of them is going to be another Android activity. Another one's going to be a metadata. So what we'll do is after this activity, we'll go ahead, we'll add our necessary tags in here. And what I'll do is I'll, I'll copy, I'll paste this stuff into uh, the description below. So that way you can just copy and paste it right in there. Um, now you'll notice it's showing up red here. And the reason it's red is because we've added our Google Play services to our test app, but we haven't synced it with Gradle. So in order to do that, what we could do is the little green button, looks like a little Pokemon but with a down arrow. It says sync project with Gradle files. So we'll click on that. And it's going to go ahead, it's going to do its sync. You can see down here at the bottom, it's doing its thing and just chugging along. Once that's finished, we'll see this stuff turn green like the rest of it. And there we go. So, alright, now I know I have this part in here, this Android config changes. And I'm going to just copy it and actually, I'm going to delete it for right now. And put in just that. And there's a reason I'm going to do that because later on we're going to have to find out what our device ID hash number is. And uh, we don't want to load up an ad and get like invalid impressions in our application and get in trouble by Google. So this is going to make it actually crash out. We'll be able to get our device ID. We can put this back in and put our proper device ID in to add it as a test device. And you'll, you'll see what I'm talking about a little bit later. But for right now, just go ahead. Wipe out that uh, that config, that Android dot you know config changes or colon config changes, and we'll go ahead and we'll find out why in just a moment. But until then, what we'll have to do is we'll have to add the proper permissions to the application. So we'll go ahead, we'll add in our internet and our network access, and that way we won't get any of those nasty errors when we try to access this stuff. Okay, so let's open up our main activity. Now from here, what we're going to have to do, we're going to have to import uh, a couple items here. And the 
two of them that we're going to do are these two files here the add view and the add request so now that we have we went ahead and we imported those files we can go ahead and we can just define some variables for them so here we go here's our add view remember the add unit ID that we had uh, we went ahead and we copied and we pasted we got it right here this is where I got this crazy ID from now the device ID that's going to be the unique identification hash code for your phone um, we'll get to that in just a little bit but now that we have our variables defined we can go ahead and we can add the code to go ahead and pull up our ad and display it and that's exactly what this does here it's going to add an ad view it's going to cast it to an ad view and it's going to pull the R ID and then we're going at least I'm going to name it ad view in our XML file and under our layouts here now I haven't created it yet that's why it's showing up red but we'll get to that go ahead we create a new ad requester we're going to add a test device which is right here which is going to link to this we're going to build it and then we're going to load the ad that we just created for our requester yeah <laughs> that's a tongue twister and open up our main activity XML if we're gonna load ads we need to have this in here the next thing we're going to do is well let's just get rid of this text view for now won't be the most interactive uh, advertisement <laughs> not even a proper placement but here's our ad view ID the same one that we have right here now that went from red to purple so we know hey cool beans man we're good add unit ID so again jump over to word grab our add unit ID Just copy paste the add size is going to be banner size so I'm going to keep that banner and now we're good to go we'll go ahead we'll save it so now we're ready to run our app so we'll click run I'm going to use my phone and click OK in our little log hat we got a couple different things coming through device. it gives us a number this number here is our device ID so we'll copy this we'll jump back here where it says your device hash ID simply paste that there you go now you have your device ID in here we can jump back to the Android manifest so we'll put it here paste it back in save it and now let's go ahead and run it again again I'll choose my phone say OK And there we go on my phone now I have a 30 by 50 test banner saying ad mobs by Google so now I know my advertisements are working um, this is a test device so we won't have to worry about pulling bad uh, permissions from from Google we're safe we enable this as our test device all is looking good I hope that helped out if you have any questions or comments feel free to leave a post below Thanks for watching.